Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in the stable version of Google Chrome, on the new tab page, we get AR mode, which if we click on, gives you a drop down menu with a couple of suggestions. And then you've got add a tab and more. And if you click on that, you can add an image, a file, or you can create images using Google's Nano Banana AR model for generating images. Now, if we head over to Chrome Canary, which is an early preview version, Google has gone one step further by adding the same menu directly into the search, which has got an extra option called Deep Research. But what I want to bring your attention to is that the new menu added to the search box on Chrome's new tab page which allows you to add tabs, files, and so on, will also be added, if we head up to the Omnibox in Chrome Canary, will also be added to the Omnibox. So if we click on that, you can see add an image, which I can go head into my local drive to get that image. I can add a file, the same would apply. I've got deep research or deep search, which I can do directly from the Omnibox using Gemini. And we can create images using Nano Banana. So interesting stuff. And it seems like, just like Microsoft Edge, that Google is wanting to push AI into every nook and cranny of Google Chrome. And Chrome is fast becoming an AI browser in my personal opinion. So I thought this was interesting. In the stable version currently, we get one entry point in regards to adding a tab and more using AR mode. But in the early preview version, we've got a couple of options. We've got AR mode, we've got the toggle to add image file, create images, and now we've got add tabs and more directly in the Omnibox using AR. So not available as yet in the stable, but obviously, if and when that happens, I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. So lots of AI, it seems, coming to the browser in up and coming future builds of Google Chrome. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.